welcome everyone. It is Quarantine Healing. I am your host, Ava Laura, your life coach and intuitive consultant and CEO of Ava Laura's Healing Center. And I am here every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday while we're quarantining until this is over or until I just can't do it anymore. I just don't have time. That is my commitment to you. Uh, today is Meditation Monday, so I'm here every Monday at 12 p.m. Eastern uh, to meditate. Wednesdays, 8 p.m. Eastern for Wellness Wednesday. And then again on Fridays at 12 p.m. Eastern for Feel Good Friday. If you have missed any of the live streams, you can now find them all on YouTube, on my YouTube channel. Just look up my name, Ava Laura. I'm very easy to find. I am Googleicious. There is only one Ava Laura, A-V-A-L-A-U-R-A. -A -A. Not hard to find at all. So you can look me up there, or you can also scroll down my Facebook page as well, my business page, Ava Laura Sailing Center, or here on my personal page at Ava Laura Coaching. All right, all right, all right. So come on in. I'm going to give you all some time to come in. Welcome. And when you come in, feel free to share this out with your friends, invite your peeps. You know, don't share when you find something good. Don't keep it for yourself. You share it out, right? Sometimes we get things, you know, I see all the time on uh, Facebook, on social media. We see other things. Oh, D-Nice is doing this. Oh, so-and-so is doing this. But we don't talk about it till after it happens, right? Like you need to invite people while it's going on. So if you see something good, invite them. Even if you come on the replay, hey, replay viewers, uh, hashtag replay, go ahead and share it out. Just because it's over doesn't mean that you can't share it because we all need meditation in our life, right? We all need this. Um, again, if you missed the live streams, just to give you a recap from last week, um, I do meditation Monday every Monday. So we're meditating every Monday. On Wednesday, Wellness Wednesday, so last Wednesday, what I did was give you my self-care routine, and meditation is a big part of that routine. I absolutely love meditation because I recommend it to all of my clients. I see results. I have literally been meditating since, I don't know, it's been over 20 years now. Um, I started at Howard University. I think it was like my sophomore, junior year really got me through and then continued on uh, doing my yoga te yoga teacher training in India uh, back in 2007. So I have been teaching meditation uh, since that point. I used to teach yoga as well, but I found it was really more important to focus on the breathing and everything involved. So I love teaching meditation because you truly get immediate results and not enough people teach you how to meditate correctly. Um, that is a huge problem. Most of you don't know how to breathe, right? You say you're meditating, but you don't know how to breathe. And if you're not breathing, you're not meditating. So that's really important. So you see the link below bit.ly forward slash bundle 44. That is my gift to you, my self-care pack, my birthday bundle. Um, you get among other things, my meditation plus my workbook really walks you through how to meditate correctly. There are three important steps. Also get four others of my self-care products. So you get a total of five, right? Five products for only $44. You're basically getting, you're paying for the meditation, getting everything else free. That's basically what's happening. And you get included in that two of my eBooks, Power and Bliss. Uh, two of my eBooks, you get the Power Journal, which is a 31 day journal, which is an actual journal, but also includes audio from me, which I, you know, I love. We need a daily pick me up, especially now. I created these products a while ago. Um, but now more than ever, people are using them and loving them. I've gotten tremendous feedback. So I thank you for those of you who already have purchased it and have used it and loved it. And, um, I'm grateful for those of you who continue to purchase it now. So go ahead and get that right now, bit.ly forward slash bundle 44. So you can continue to do this on your own. And even after this quarantine is over, you will have products and things to support you. I am here. Um, I'm actually probably busier now than I have been. Uh, you know, we've all lost things in this quarantine. We've all had to adjust and find our new normal, so to speak. Um, this has changed our lives forever. And so my goal is that, yes, you have to change now. You have to adapt. You have to pivot. But I want you to continue doing that 
after this quarantine is over. Do not go back to your status quo. Don't go back to how you were living your life before this started. I want you to continue to move forward, whatever that means for you, whatever that looks like. And if you don't know what that looks like, you don't know what that means, let's talk, request a consultation on my website. Let's talk how I can support you. Let's talk how we can help you to move forward. I know we are all dealing with this in the ways that we deal with it, right? Everyone is different. Some of you are being more productive. You're doing things that you know, you've been putting off that you haven't done before. Some of you are grieving, right? You've lost people. You've lost family members. You've lost friends or friends and family members are in the hospital. And so there's still a grief involved. Um, and some of you are just, <laughs> you know, going through your own depression and anxiety, just trying to figure out the best way to handle this situation, right? Um, stress levels up, overwhelm is up, not sure what to do. You know, some days you're productive, some days you ju you're just trying to make it, right? You're just trying to do the best that you can. And some of you are experiencing a combination of all three of those things. And so wherever you are, whatever is going on with you, this is for you. I call meditation my cure-all because it works literally for everything. It is my Robitussin. You know what I mean? Like y'all know what I'm talking about in the black community. Anything go wrong, you got a broken bone, put some Tussin on it. You got a cold, put some Tussin on it, right? You got the flu, put some Tussin on it. Well, for me, meditation is my Tussin, okay? Anything going on, meditate. Take some moments to breathe and just be. So that's what we're doing today. So come on in. If you're here, welcome, welcome, welcome. Let me know who you are. Say, hey, Ava Laura, I'm here. Let me know your name. Let me know where you're coming in from. And have you ever meditated before? Have you meditated? If you meditated, let me know. Yes. If you haven't meditated, tell me, no, nah, I've never done this before. I want to hear from you. If you come in on the replay, hashtag replay, talk to me. I always monitor the chats afterwards, so I will definitely uh, respond to you as well. And if you're watching me on YouTube, hey, I'd love to hear from you as well. Some of you won't see this until afterwards. That is fine too. The, again, it's, it's even after the quarantine, this will still be relevant, right? Because we all need to take time out to meditate. And I said it, you know, if you can't go outside, go inside. You know, why do I say that? Here's the thing, right? We, uh, right now we're all focusing on a lot of the liberties that we don't have. We can't go outside. And, and, and I don't mean literal, like you can't go out your front door, but you know, you really can't go anywhere, right? Um, you can't go to the grocery store. They, they don't even want us to go into the grocery store anymore. You can't go to your friend's house. You can't go to school. You can't go to work for many of us unless you're an essential uh, employee. So many of us are suffering. We can't go on our normal routine, no social life, no happy hours, no restaurants, you know, all those things that we love, concerts and all these things, right? And so you can't go outside, but you can always go within. So you can't go outside, go inside. That is what we're doing today. Hey, Kalima, welcome, welcome. Glad to hear from you. Where are you coming in from? Hey, Judine, welcome, welcome. You started doing Yoga Nidra every night. Awesome. Start implementing some meditation. Yoga Nidra is dope. I love Yoga Nidra, but it's not the same as meditation. Um, so definitely incorporate some meditation in the mix. Good to see you all again. Come on in you guys, as you come in, let me know who you are. If you meditate, yes or no, I'd love to hear from you. I know some of y'all are shy, but you can, you, I'm not going to bite. I'm not going to bite. <laughs> I promise you I'm not going to bite. So this is the format. Um, here's how I like to start off my meditation. I want you to understand that meditation is so effective, even if you only do a few minutes is effective. We're going to do a 10 minute meditation. If you get my workbook and meditation, um, it's a 20 minute meditation. So if you get that download bit.ly forward slash bundle 44, the order that it's a 20 minute guided meditation, similar to what we'll be doing. Um, the difference is I walk you through step-by-step step actually how to meditate. Not going to do all of that today. Uh, right now, I just want to give you that time. I know some of you, even though you're working from home, you are working. 
and I value your time. Your time is precious. And so I honor that. So we'll be meditating for 10 minutes. Hey, Venetia, welcome. Welcome here. Have you meditated before? Tell me if you've meditated before and where you're coming in from. Kalima is in Buffalo, New York. It's so cool. Like all of you are like all around the world. That's why I love live streaming. Like we're all in different spaces, but we're in the same space. If you know what I mean, like we're having this shared experience no matter where we are in the world. Um, and so I honor that. I honor that. Like wherever you are in the world, you like we're all going through this together. You know, uh, probably <laughs> the, we're called the United States of America, but we're not really united. Uh, but this is a time where we do get to be united because we're all going through the same thing and we're all processing it differently. So give yourself that space to process it and work through it and know that there's good days and bad days and just honor that. And so I'm here to help with that. Um, so how I like to start meditation. First thing, what is your stress level and what is your intention? What is your stress level? And what is your intention? So those of you in the chat, let me know. Stress level on a scale of one to 10, with one being, you know, I'm calm, I'm serene, I'm a relaxed, I'm good. With 10 being 911, Ava Laura, I need your help right now. It's not a game. This ain't a joke, right? So what's your stress level on a scale of one to 10, right? And we're going to reevaluate this after the meditation. And then what is your intention? Intention is so powerful. Meditation in and of itself is powerful for so many things. Anxiety, depression, relaxation, stress relief, reducing overwhelm, being more clear, more focused. It helps you on a physiological, physical level, reduces your stress level, reduces blood pressure, all of these different things, right? And so, so, so many more. There's hundreds, literally, of benefits to meditation. So what is your intention? That makes it even more powerful. Do you want to reduce stress? Do you just want to relax? Do you just want to be more calm? Do you want to invite peace into your life, right? Are you just trying to get through the day, right? What is your intention for this meditation? So let me know, guys, in the chat, what is your stress level on a scale of one to 10? What is your stress level? Um, and uh, what is your intention? And again, for those of you, wherever you are in the world, even if you're not on a chat, write this down right now. What is your intention? What is your stress level? We are going to reevaluate after I take you through this meditation. All right. Now, so the meditation in, in terms of what we focus on, breathing, inhaling and exhaling fully through our diaphragm. Again, I kind of walk you through all of this um, when you get my meditation. Posture, you know, just making sure that you're comfortable for right now. I don't want to go into too much of that, but just make sure you're comfortable, right? That, that's the most important thing. Breathing is of the utmost important, inhaling and exhaling. I like progressive relaxation. When you are a beginner, guided meditation is the best. The reason is because monkey brain, our minds, over 600, over 60,000 thoughts every single day, 80% of those thoughts are negative, okay? So your mind is constantly going, 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 going. Guided meditation kind of helps to keep you focused. All you got to do is listen to the sound of my voice and do what I tell you to do. Focus on that and your mind will have less time to think about, oh, I need to go to the grocery store. Oh, I got to do this. Oh my God, I forgot I got to clean this. Oh yeah, I got to, you know whatever you got to do. I got this meeting. I got this. I got the Zoom call, right? So focus on the sound of my voice and breathe. That's it. That's all I want you to do. Intention is at, uh, to de-stress and stress level is at an eight. Hey, Mer okay, I, I might mispronounce it. Marvita, Mel v Ver Melberta. No, Melberta. Is it Melberta? I hope I said that correctly. From Decatur, you meditate on prayer. Uh, I want to meditate on prayer today. My stress level is a four, but I'm always at a 10. Calming is my intention. Awesome. Thank you for sharing that. If you know you're always on a 10, please get my meditation. Please, please, please get my meditation. You can see how this works for you. And then you're going to be like, yeah, this is the bomb. Okay, let me get it. Because we're only going to do 10 minutes. And I want you to see that in 10 minutes, it works. I have had people say, Ava Laura, why did you bring me back? I have had people say, you know what? I had pain in my shoulder and discomfort. And after the meditation, it was gone. 
they immediately feel a difference. So if you know you always on 10, you need to be meditating. I know it's hard. I know you're going to say, I can't do this every day, but you really can. And even if it's only a few minutes, that's okay. Something is better than nothing. It's all about consistency. It's the long game, right? This is not a hit it and quit it. It ain't a one night stand. This is a long game. This is that, this is that 40 year marriage. We ain't, we ain't talking about, you know, hit it and quit it one night stand. So meditation, you can do it however long. I don't care if it's five minutes, 10 minutes, whatever, but do it daily. Do it daily. That consistency is what's going to get you results. All right. Y'all ready to go? Y'all ready to meditate? You can continue to share your intention and stress levels as we hear. We're going to go ahead and get started. What I want you to do is, again, focus on my voice. Close your eyes and just start to get in tune with your body. If you need to shake, if you need to stretch, go ahead and do that. Close your eyes. This is where you start to go with in. Close your eyes and just focus on your intention, focus on your breath, fully inhaling and exhaling from your diaphragm. And just focus on the crown of your head, your crown chakra. Fully inhaling and exhaling. And with each inhale and with each exhale, I just want you to relax your head. Just visualize it relaxing, being more calm, moving to your forehead, relaxing your forehead, relaxing your eyes. Relaxing your cheeks. Relaxing your jaw. Relaxing your mouth. Inhale. Exhale. Relax. Inhale. Exhale. Feel your head just relaxing, all that stress, all that anxiety, all that pressure gone. Your whole face just relaxes. Moving down your body, relax your neck. All that tension and stress you feel in your neck, just relax it. Let it go. If you need to move it, move it. But just let that stress go, work it out. And continue breathing, moving down to your shoulders. Relax those shoulders. You don't need to carry the weight of the world. You don't need to carry other people's problems, your mama's problems, your sister's problems, your husband's problems, your wife's problems, your children's problems. You don't need to carry them. Release them now. With each inhale, with each exhale, breathe into those shoulders and just let it all go. Inhale, exhale, breathe and just be. Inhale, Exhale, breathe, and just be. Move from your shoulders down to your back, relaxing your upper back, relaxing your mid back, relax your lower back. With each inhale, with each exhale, breathe, just be, and just relax. 
There's no place else you need to be in this moment. This is all for you. Breathe into your body and just feel that calm, that relaxation just wash all over you. Your face is relaxed. Your neck is relaxed. Your back is relaxed. You move down your arms and just let go of those arms. Let them feel like noodles by your side. With each inhale, with each exhale, relax your arms. Let all that tension and stress go. Relax your elbows. And moving down, relax your wrists and relax your fingers. Inhale, exhale, breathe and just be. Feel that calm and relaxed wash all over your body, coming from the top of your head and just moving down your body now focus on your heart chakra, your heart region, the space where we hold so many feelings and pent up emotions, things that we don't even know that we've been holding on to, things that could be there since you were three years old, five years old, 10 years old, grief, loss, anxiety, hurt, whatever it is. You may not even know what to call it. You may not even know what's there but just give yourself permission to let it all go. Inhale, exhale, breathe and just be. Inhale, exhale, release it and let it go. Feel all of it just melts away and move out of your crown, I mean, your heart chakra, move down to your solar plexus, to your sacral chakra, your stomach area, and just let go. Breathe into that space, fully inhaling and exhaling. And with each inhale and exhale, just feeling that release. Feel that release. Let it all go. Whatever's there, whatever tension, whatever stress, anxiety, overwhelm, just let it go. This is your moment to just love all up on yourself and give yourself this gift of just breathing and just being in the moment with yourself, giving your body what it needs nourishing your body from the inside out. Move down to your legs, relaxing your thighs, relaxing your bottom, relaxing your knees, just feeling so at peace in this moment. Continuing to move down Relaxing your legs and your ankles. Allowing your legs to just move however they need to so they are fully and completely relaxed. Letting go of that tension and stress. Not worrying about how you're sitting in your chair or on the floor or wherever you're sitting. Not worried about it. You're just letting your body move how it needs to. And finally move down to your feet. Bless those feet with the gift of relaxation. They carry so much weight. They carry us around everywhere we go. Relax your feet. Relax your toes. Relax, relax, just relax. Feel all that tension and stress releasing from the crown of your head down through the tips of your toes into the ground. 
just letting it all go. Inhale, exhale, breathe, and just be. Inhale, exhale, breathe, and just be. Bring your awareness back to your breath, fully inhaling and exhaling from your diaphragm. Start to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Slowly, slowly and gently waking your body up. Be gentle with yourself. And when you feel ready, and only when you feel ready, open your eyes and come on back. And just feel that calm, and that relaxation wash all over you. Feel it even in this moment when you come back and carry it with you throughout the rest of your day. How's everyone doing? Are you back? Are you back? Are you here with me? Welcome back. How are you feeling? Take a moment to collect yourself. Take a moment to be here in this moment. How do you feel? So again, remember your stress level. Where were you on a scale of one to 10? Where did you start? And where do you feel now? Are you at the same? I sure hope not. Are you higher? You better not be. You lower. The intention is for your stress level to be reduced. So wherever you started, the intention is that it's lower than where it was. It may not be at a one, but it should be lower. That is the goal. So if you're still here on this chat with me, talk to me. How's your stress level? How are you feeling? How are you doing? Are y'all still here with me? <laughs> If you're on a replay, talk to me. How are you doing? How's your stress level? Um, how do you feel? You know, if this is your first time meditating or you don't meditate a lot, how do you feel? What's going on? Even if you do meditate a lot, you know, how do you feel? How did this work for you? You feel good. Awesome. What's your stress level now? If you had to had to put a number on it, what's your stress level? That was good. Relaxed. Awesome. 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 Perfect. That's that's what we want to happen. So for those of you who started with your stress level in the beginning, did your stress level decrease? Did your stress level decrease? That's the goal. And that was 10 minutes. So I want you all to know, again, it is not about you got to meditate for 30 minutes, 40 minutes. You know, that's not the goal. The goal is that you do this consistently every day. It is not a hit it and quit it. Not a one night stand. We do this consistently. So hopefully you'll get my guided meditation plus workbook and the other four self-care products at bit.ly forward slash bundle 44. The link is in the comments. And the reason is again, so you can continue to do this every day. I will be here every Monday taking you through this, um, but you got to be on your own, right? You got to do this on your own. 
I don't focus on meditation. I want to feel calm. You feel wonderful. Awesome. Yes. Intention met. I started by saying my, uh, for my mind, my intentions are to be productive and get clarity on some things. Awesome. 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 Those are all very good intentions. I'm glad that you all are feeling relaxed, that you're feeling calm, that you're feeling wonderful. Awesome. 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 I did my job then. I did my job. So again, this will be up. You can take this with you. Um, hey, Cassandra. Hey, hey, hey. One of my Reiki students just popped in. Good to see you. Uh, if you're just coming in, again, you can check the replay. You can go back, hashtag replay, go through the whole meditation again. Um, I will be here again every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday till I can't be here no more during this quarantine or until this is over. I will be back on Wednesday for Wellness Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern and then back on Friday for Friday, Feel Good Friday. So this last Friday, we talked about relationships and dating. It was a lot of fun. I had a few of my friends. So whether you're married, whether you're single like me and dating or just single, um, we, you know, we had something for everybody. So you can go back and check that out. Again, all of these videos are now on YouTube or, or you can scroll through my Facebook pages to find them. We've had some really cool topics. We've talked about what's on Netflix. Uh, we've, I've talked about again, my self care routine. Um, so, so many different things. So join us, tell a friend, spread the word. Um, get the, get the, uh, self-care bundle is only $44. Y'all. I promise you it's like a $270 value. Like it, it doesn't get much better. Basically you pay for one product, get the rest free. That's basically what's going on. Um, go ahead and get that. Thank you all for chiming in. Also for those of you, Cassandra just reminded me, I do have a Reiki training coming up this May. Um, it will be virtual. All this stuff is still going on. It will be virtual. Thank you for sharing the link. I appreciate you. Yes. Bit.ly forward slash bundle 44. You can get everything, this meditation plus more, um, plus so, so, so much more. Um, uh, yes, I have a Reiki um, one and two coming up in May. Like I said, it will more than likely be virtual. I don't imagine things will be better by me. So it'll be a virtual experience. So wherever you are in the world, this is a chance for you to learn Reiki with me. Normally it's here in College Park, Maryland. You don't get to do that. But, you know, now we get to do it virtually. Um, so if you want to learn more about Reiki, you can do that. Also, I have the Reiki Mastermind coming up, which I'm so excited about. If you are already a Reiki practitioner, whether you've taken Reiki one, two, or three, whether you've taken it with me or another teacher, you can join the Reiki Mastermind. It's April 22nd. It is virtual. It is virtual. We will have our own private Facebook group. I'm really, I'm really excited about this because I get to support healers really, um, and helping you all to build your business and offering some community resources, all of those things that we need, especially during this time. You're welcome, Lori. Yes, we do all need meditation right now. You are so welcome. Again, if you're just coming in, if you only got part of it or missed it, you can go back and catch, catch the replay after this is over and go back to the beginning. Um, so yes, if you want to join the Reiki Mastermind, you can DM me. I'll give you that information as well. But I'm really looking forward to this. I have guests that will be coming in to talk about social media, to talk about marketing, to talk about podcasting, all those things that we need, right? Because people need you now more than ever. I have done more distance Reiki now than I think I've done my whole career um, in 15 years. So we people need this now more than ever. And I'm, I'm happy to support you all. Thank you, Judine. Thank you. Um, I appreciate you. I'm, I'm happy to be here to offer my services. Um, so you can hit me up for that. Um, but again, I will see you all on Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern for Wellness Wednesday. And if there's anything that you want me to discuss or talk about, let me know. You can put it here in the chat or feel free to DM me. Let me know what you want to hear. Let me know what you need. I am here to support you. We all need it right now. We are all in this together. We are all in this together. So I look forward to hearing from you. Go and enjoy the rest of your day. Have an amazing, productive, calming, relaxed, stress-free day. And I will see you on Wednesday. Until then, wishing you peace, love, and bountiful blessings. Have an amazing day, guys. Bye.